Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I'm not live this morning because I have some prior commitments, but I wanted to jump on and record this for you because we've all been anticipating the CPI report and it did come out this morning and it's kind of a big nothing burger. Um, it's got some data in there that some people like. It's got some data some people don't like. So it is causing the market to just kind of muddle along. We can see it here. We're sitting here at 6.52. We were 6.50 yesterday. So it's barely moving. You can see on the rate trend down here in the bottom, it's uh, trending positive today. So I'm not expecting any major moves. The devil in the details here for the inflation numbers, it said they rose a scant 0.1 in March, largely because of lower energy costs. But U.S. inflation is broadly still high and showed little sign, so little prospect of rapidly subsiding soon. That's the thing that worries the Fed the most. Economists thought we'd have a 0.2 increase. We only had a 0.1. The yearly rate of inflation slowed to 5% from 6% and touched the lowest level since May 21. And this is a key sentence here to focus on. What helped was the extremely high inflation reading in March 2022 dropping out of the yearly rate. And why do I mention that? Well, you know, we like to listen to Barry Habib here on this channel and He's been saying that once those high rates start dropping off, the picture will improve. That's why he is saying that rates are going to come down in May. And this is the first indication amongst others where it looks like he's going to be correct. Now, the hard part is when you take out food and energy, the so-called core inflation rate uh, that omits food and energy rose a sharp 0 0.4. And again, Wall Street had forecasted 0.4. So that's not good news. Uh, that's not coming down like they would like it to see. Uh, but one of the big components in that is rent. 30% is rent and housing. And rent is coming down. And it should give us some improvements as we go forward. This one is, I'm going to blow this up here a little bit for you. This is our consumer price index when you're looking year over year. So you can see that this blue line is all items at 5%. And this dotted line is 5.6. So the inflation numbers that they follow that do not include food and energy are slightly higher. That's not a good thing. <clears throat> but the Treasury is reacting as the uh, market uh, is open. It's actually going down. So we're not seeing a spike. So the data, once again, is matching the expectations of the traders. So nobody's out there panicking. The interesting news that's showing up more and more now that I think we need to keep an eye on, and this is the availability of credit for small businesses. And it is plummeting ever since that small bank collapse. So that can be a problem. Now, during recessions, um, you want that number to be going up because uh, they want you need more borrowing for them to expand their businesses or get ready to expand. And uh, we're not seeing that right now. We're seeing a, a credit crunch. And Morgan Stanley analysts are forecasting something worse than the great financial crisis for commercial real estate. You're going to see a lot of news on this too. And the, the thinking is there that uh, because so many people... <clears throat> are working from home now, remote work. Uh, these buildings are pretty empty and their loans are not 30 year fixed. A lot of them are resetting this year and next year. So they're expecting when they reset that many people will just say, well, I'm not going to re-up my lease and we're gonna have all this vacant commercial property. Could be. Will that bleed into our local housing market? You could probably make the argument and say, oh, yeah, it's going to make a big difference or no, um, it's not going to do a thing. So, you know, we won't know till we know. So it's just a number, another number to watch here in this crazy Arizona real estate market. Now, this one, next number I'm showing you here, I got this from Daniel DiMartino Booth. This one's interesting. This is small business inventory plans. Their plans on gearing up and they are saying, nope, we see bad times ahead. So we're not going to boost our inventory. We're going to be very, very careful. And this is real gross domestic product right here. I'm going to pull this out. This is, it's coming down a little bit right there. So, you know, you have, uh, what is it, two quarters of uh, drop in GDP, and we call that a recession. But more importantly, it's the small businesses that are out there that are saying, well, we're we're just not in the mood to be producing too much right now. So they're 
they're kind of sitting back. And then this is, uh, again, showing loans at large banks and small banks. And here's the small banks right here. Um, trying to draw my little red line here. And it's not cooperating. But you can see it because you're a smart audience. There it is right there. Look at that spike down. Now, I don't know a lot about the long-term trends in this. I'm seeing this huge run-up during the pandemic for small loans. Everybody was borrowing money like crazy just to stay afloat. And we've kind of been coming down gradually going into 2022. So even though we have a large spike down right here, we're not at this level. So I think it's the the rapidness of the downturn that's got people spooked. Um, in reality, it's uh, still floating around between 700 and 750, which doesn't look too alarming to a simple guy like me, but everybody's watching it and saying, if this continues, we could have a problem out there for small business and credit availability. That could bleed into the mortgage business. Um, time will tell. I like to look at canceled listings in our market, and this is the daily chart. And you can see here that weekly chart right here. Canceled listings have gone way down. That means that people are getting they're having success putting their house on the market, and they're not giving up. They're not saying, well, that didn't work. I'm done, like you saw back here on this blue chart. And you can see here, here's listings canceled per month. Let me get rid of this thing here. And you can see that this one is went up slightly here in March from February, uh, but it's not alarming. Canceled listings in October were enormous as people were saying, I've got to sell. So they listed their house in uh, probably late March and uh, they tried to give it the good old college try. They didn't get their price and they said, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not. Uh, I tried to sell, tried to get my equity. I'm not going to do it. So uh, mortgage rates, not having a big shock today. No big deal. Uh, we're just going to muddle along. We're going to trade in this narrow zone, it looks like, for a while. So um, in mortgage rates, bad news is usually good news. And uh, no news equals no news, no movement. So that's where we are today. I hope this helps. Take on the day. Have a great rest of the week. Take care.